Welcome to the video scheduling jobs with Coney App Factory. Before completing this video, it's important that you review the previous video on building apps in App Factory, since this video is a continuation of this previous video. In this video, we will review how cron scheduling works and we'll schedule a job in App Factory. Let's get started. The Coney App Factory has two scheduling mechanisms you can use to plan your builds. The first mechanism uses cron format to schedule jobs. The second mechanism lets you place a watcher on your repository to detect commits to your repository and build code based on when a user commits to a branch you are watching. Now this video will focus on scheduling jobs with cron. Before we look in detail at scheduling, let's have a quick review of cron. Cron scheduling is a familiar scheduling mechanism used by Unix admins to plan jobs that need to run in a Unix environment. Cron takes five parameters that are highly configurable to meet your scheduling needs. And the following diagram illustrates the syntax. If I wanted to schedule a nightly build at midnight, Cron easily allows me to schedule this build by setting the minutes parameter to zero and setting the hour parameter to zero while setting all the remaining parameters to star. The following examples show various schedules that we can set for jobs. Any schedule with commas allows you to specify multiple times for a specific job, while a dash allows you to schedule a range. Look at the second row for a typical example of running a job during the weekdays. Notice the days of the week are set to 1-5. This means that this will run on days 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's Monday through Friday. Now we're going to use the cron format to schedule our jobs with the App Factory. I'm going to work with my kitchen sink app again that I've used in previous videos. Okay, here I'm going to click on my visualizer project for my kitchen sink app and then click on the triggers link. From here, I can create a new scheduled time to build my projects or create a new trigger to watch for changes in my repo. In either case, we're going to need to create a trigger by clicking on the trigger link. The scheduler screen should look familiar and it's covered in previous videos such as building your first visualizer app in App Factory. So I won't go into a lot of details of each field. Instead, I'm going to highlight the cron field here. If I want to schedule a job, I fill out the cron for that job in this field. For example, I want to build my project every day at 4 p.m. I would add the following job 0016 star star star. Now I can fill out the remaining fields and schedule my job by hitting the build button. Now, just like a manual build from our previous videos, we're going to get a lot of the same output. So each day at 4 p.m., the job's going to build all the channels that I've defined and send me an email and perform any Appium test on the project. So I'll also see my test results. If I want to see all the jobs that I've scheduled, I simply go to my scheduled jobs link and I can check them out in my scheduler folder under my triggers. Now, if I need to delete one of these scheduled jobs, I can delete it by clicking the job and selecting delete. Okay, so here's a quick recap. In this video, we learned about cron processes and how to use cron for scheduling jobs within the App Factory. Please check out our other videos on App Factory, Visualizer, and other Coney products at basecamp.coney.com. You can submit questions to our forums and start educational tracks to earn badges to show off your Coney skills. Thanks again.